Okay, so hopefully I'm doing this right. Now I'm going to erase everything because obviously I did it wrong. So we have three ingredients. So it's three twentieth of pepper, and then we have two fifths of salt, and one fifth of ounces. By the way. So that's what we have first, and this is our multiplier. This is our total. Yeah, so, and we need one more column over here. And we're going to add 3 twentieths plus 2 fifths plus 1 fifth. So if you have a calculator, please do so now. I don't because I just don't. Times 4 is. Uh, times 4 is 8. And 5, 1 fifth times 4 is 4, so that's giving me 15 over 20 total. And then what we also know is that we mixed all that, so we've made a bigger batch of seasoning, and we used 6 cups. So we need to find our multiplier. So on your calculator, go and divide 6, divided by 15 over 20. And I'm going to do it manually. Um, and this is going to be, let's see, divided by 3 is 2, divided by 3 is 5, 40 over 5, which equals 2, 8. So the multiplier is 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. 8 times 3 twentieth gives me 24 over 20, which is the same. That's going to change it to 1, 4 over 20th, or 1 and 1 fifth. So that's going to change that, which is going to change to that. 2 over 5 times 8 is going to be 16 over 5, and that's going to change to 3 and 1 fifth. And 8 fifths is going to be 1 and 3 fifths. And if you add this up, it does make sense. 3, 4, 5, this whole thing is added up to 1, and we're good. Numero dos, it's the same type of question, I hope. A red velvet cake uses one fourth teaspoons of red coloring, one fifth of vanilla. Right, so that's that's our ratio to make this particular thing here. So the total, if you add one fifth, one fourth plus one fifth, you're gonna get five four nine over twenty. That's my total. So it says here. Blah blah blah. If 13 and a half total tablespoons were used, so if I use a total of 13 and a half, why did I make three columns? No. Cut that. Right. So and now I have to find the multiplier times times and times times what? So 13 and a half. I'm gonna change 13 and a half to two times three. Two times 13 is 26, and I make that 27 over two. Okay. I'm gonna switch it. So I'm going to divide 27 over half, uh, 27 over 2, divide by 9 over 20. You can put that in your calculator. And 27 over 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 20 over 9. And we're going to get that, uh, let me see, this is 1, 10, 1, 3. So our multiplier is 30 times 30 times 30 times 30. 1 fourth times 30 is going to be 30 over 4 which is going to give me 7 and 2 fourths, or 7 and a half. 1 fifth times 30 is going to be 30 over 5, which is the same thing as 6. And you can tell 6 plus, sorry, 7 and a half plus 6 is 13 and a half. So we know we are clear. 3. 3 animals are drinking water. So the elephant drinks three-fourths of a cup, no, right, elephant, Ele, and da, 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 da. and the per one, the lion drinks half a cup, lion, this is the elephant, and the rhino drinks three over two cups. So, remember, this is my multiplier, and this is my multiplier. This is my total. So my total, I got 22 cups over here. <clears throat> so I'm 
So let's add 3 fourth, 1 half, and 3 over 2. So we get 3 fourth, so 2 fourth, which is the lion, and then plus 6 over 4. I'm just taking one step at a time. You have a calculator in front of you, use it. 3, 6, 5, 6, that's going to give me 11 over 4. So the total is 11 over 4. I want to leave it as a mixed number because it just makes it easy for me to divide later on. So we need to find a multiplier. So this is my total, right? So right now, if they dr the elephant drinks this much, and the lion drinks a half, and the rhino drinks 3 over 2, they are drinking 11 over 4 cups of water. All right. So what happens when they drink 22 cups? How much did each animal drink? So we need to find a multiplier. So I'm going to do that. Now divide by 22, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 22. And... Uh, is it right? No, what am I doing? It's 22 divided by 1 fourth divided by 11 over 4. 22 times 4 over 11, 1, 2. And again, the multiplier is 8. That seems like a popular number. So the elephant is going to be it's, uh, 24 over 4, which equals 6. The line is going to be 8 over 2, which is 4. And the rhino is going to be 4, 12. No, 10. 2, 4, 12. Yes. So the, Ryan is going to be 12, which is 24 over 2, and you get 12. And you can see that 6 plus 4 plus 12 equals 22. Okay, so that's question 3. Question 4. A faucet fills a tub in blah, blah, blah. It's 2 over 6 minutes. How many liters does it fill per minute? So this is a unit rate question. And there's a part A. I'm going to shorten it. Okay, so let's find the unit rate first. So it's 5 over 7 liters over 2 over 6 minutes. We're going to find the unit rate. Right? So the unit rate, I'm going to divide, I'm going to change color, divide this by 6 over 2. Divide this by 6 over 2. So in one minute, Right, cross, 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 one minute. Uh, sorry, it's time, sorry, time. 6 over 2 times 6 over 2. This is going to be 30 over 14 liters in one minute. And uh, now I'm going to multiply, and this is, remember, 4 hours. So 1 hour has 60 minutes, right? 2 hours has 120 minutes. 3 hours. 180 minutes and four hours you can just multiply by 60 it gives me 240 minutes so uh, I'm gonna change this four hours and I'm gonna use 240 minutes so one minute and then in 240 minutes with the same thing as four hours uh, the, multi the relationship here is times 240 so on the top it's gonna be times 240 so let's multiply 30 over 14 times 240. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can simplify this. 14 is 1. 14. 1, 0, 0. No. So 7. This is going to be 120. Um, pretty bad. Um, So we are going to have 30 times 120. Can I simplify anything else? No. So please, I'm hoping you're 30, 0, 0, 6, 3 over 7. So it's going to be 3,600 over 7 liters per minute, which you can change to... I should have brought a calculator from school. You can change to 3,600 divided by 7, which is 5, 35, 10, 1, 7... Three zero four twenty eight two left over. So that's the same thing as five hundred fourteen gallons and two over liters. Five hundred fourteen and two sevenths of a liter in four hours. Okay, so um, that's what we're looking for. Five. There's five. Is it five? 
Okay, this is five. Something's wrong. So the something about the boa constrictor, which is a snake, a big snake. It travels at two sevenths of a kilometer in four fifths of an hour. How much does it travel in sixteen hours? So this is a unit rate question. So two sevenths of a kilometer and four fifths of an hour. So let's find our unit rate. This one we need our unit rate. So the unit rate we want times five over four times five over four. So we end up getting this, 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 this from one hour. And on top, we got 10 over 28, or 1, 2, or 5 over 14 kilometers in one hour. Finally, we want 16 hours, so that's not a big deal. No, we can multiply this by 16, and the top by 16. And that equals to some number that I have no idea, 80 over 14 um, kilometers, and I'm going to just do this for you, 14 times 5, that should be around 70, 10 left over, so this looks like it's or 5 and 5 sevenths of a kilometer in 16 hours, okay? Number 5, Barney, the dinosaur, can fly, I know if Barney can fly, he can fly 4 and 9th meter for every 4 sevenths cup of Red Bull that he drinks. So how many, how far can he fly if he drinks five cups? If he drinks five cups of Red Bull, how much can he fly? Well, we need our unit rate, right? So divide by, or sorry, not divide, well, divide, but which means the same thing as seven over four, the reciprocal, seven over four, and we're gonna get a unit rate, so I'm gonna write this a unit rate. And our unit rate over here is going to be, well, this, and this, this, and this, one cup. And uh, here we're going to get 28, well, okay, okay, just 7 over 9, M. Now, this we multiply times 5, times 5, and I'm going to get 35 over 9 which is the same thing as or 3, 8 over 9 meters. So he can fly 30, 3, 8, 8 over 9 meters for every 5 cups that he drinks. Okay, so let's see about this one. So neon paint is being designed for brand new brand of sneakers. So if you use two pints, two and five pints of blue and you mix that with six over five of green, um, you get a certain color. So somebody, the designer, is making a big batch, big bucket of paint and he used six pints of blue. Let me just say that. He used six pints of blue and he used 15 pints of green. So, if you look at this, was the multiplier the same number? Because if it was the same number, then he did the right thing. But if it was not the same number, he didn't do the right thing. Okay, so we have to find the multiplier. So, over here, let me write multiplier. So, 15, we're going to take 15 and divide by 6 over 5. 15. And we're going to multiply by, divide by 6 over 5, which is what you put in your calculator. But if you're doing it manually like I am, because I don't have a calculator, um, you'll do it this way. So this would be divided by 3 is 2, divided by 3 is 5, 25 over 2. So on top here, I should also get 25 over 2. So 6 divided by 2 fifths if you use a calculator, or 6 times 5 over 2 if you don't have a calculator. Simplify before you multiply and you get 15. Uh-oh. So you can tell that the multiplier is different. 25 over 2, this is the same thing as 12.5 or 12 and a half. I don't know what your calculator says. So either way, this is 25 over 2, 12.5 or 12 and a half. Which doesn't, which doesn't matter which one you use, but it doesn't matter because the top one was multiplied by 15. So therefore, this is not the same. Uh, the multiplier being that's not the same, it's not going to be proportional. Okay. 
Um, this one is tough because I don't know how to explain it. Uh, so let's see. So fertilizer is something that we use to make plants grow better, right? Um, so in this case, we have five types of fertilizers. And if you look at it, the first one, A, uses one part soil with three parts seed. B, uses two parts soil, three parts, six parts seed. So they each have a different combination. Like E uses eight parts soil and 30 parts, 32 parts of seed. How many different parts of different types of fertilizer? Is A, B, C, D, and E all different? Well, let's just take a look at that. So A is one over three, right? So let me write one over three. This is A. B is two over six, but if you take a look at two over six, I can simplify that to one over three. So B is also one over three. C is 3 over 12, but if you take 3 over 12 and simplify, divide this by 3, divide this by 3, you get 1 over 4. D is 6 over 30. Can we simplify? Yeah, I can divide this by 6 and divide this by 6, and I get 1 over 5. And finally, E is 8 over 32, and I'm going to divide top by 8 and bottom by 8, and I'm going to get 1 fourth. So if you look at it, although they use different numbers, uh, a and B are the same, and C and D are the same. Okay, so how many different types of fertilizer are there? There's one time, this, these two are one. C and E is another one, and D is another one. So there are three different types of fertilizers. Okay. Um, which is, so, uh, I need everything. So Scott said that the best fertilizer had the greatest percentage of soil. So that the greatest percentage of soil, wait, that the fertilizer that had the greatest percentage of soil were the worst. So whichever one has the most soil has the worst. Which of the fertilizers is best to use? The best one to use is the one that has more, what do you call, more, uh, more seed. Right, so one third, if one third, one to three part, okay, so 25% uh, is soil and 75% is seed, so that's one to 25. This is uh, 20 to 60, no, 20 to 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then one fifth. by five parts there's six parts of year so the best one would be B okay because that has the least amount of of soil uh, eight Sam is taking a typing test and types 300 words in one tenth of an hour 300 words in one tenth of an hour, so words in one tenth of an hour. And then she does it again, and she types 300 words in one twelfth of an hour. Was she faster or slower? Explain. Well, very tough to compare like that. So what I'm going to do is find the unit rate. I'm going to find the unit rate here. I'm going to divide, I'm going to time this times 10 over 1. And I'm going to time this by 10 over 1. This, 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 it becomes one hour. And this is 300 times 10 over 100, 300 times 10 over 1, which is just 3,000 words per hour. So if she had an hour, she would type 3,000 words. Here, same thing, let's find a unit rate, so it's one hour. I'm going to multiply by 12 over 1, and I'm going to multiply the top by 12 over 1. And this, 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 this all simplifies to 1. 3,000 times 12. Or 300 times, so it should have been 300 by the way, not 3000. So it's 300 times 12. It's going to be, I have no idea, 3600. 3600 words in one hour. So where was she faster? Here. She was faster when she was typing at this rate. Um, number nine, a painter. A painter painted half a room in half a day. So let's write that. Half a room in half a day. 
and he thinks he's going to p paint seven rooms in seven days. Do you think that his estimate is okay? Well, let's find out. So let's find the unit rate. So half a room in half a day, or in one day, how many rooms can you paint? Well, multiply it by two to the one, multiply it by two to the one. So this is all going to cross out. Half a room in half a day. So, and then on top, it's also going to cross out, and you're going to have, so in other words, he can paint one room in one day. So, in seven days, how many rooms can you paint? Oh, that's times seven. Times seven. So was his estimate of he can paint seven rooms in seven days correct or reasonable? Yeah, I think he can do it. During one winter snow storm in Denver, Denver, Colorado, Jesse noted that 16 inches of snow fell in five and three one third hour. 16 inches of snow fell in five and one third hours. How much did it fall in one hour? So we want the unit rate again, right? So I'm gonna just change this. I'm gonna write 16 inches again. But I'm going to write 5 and 1 third hour into an uh, improper fraction. So 3 times 5 is 15. So it's 1, 16 over 3 hours. So I'm going to write it this way. I'm going to cross this out. I am going to now multiply because I, by reciprocal, which is 3 over 16. 3 over 16. Cross, 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 cross. And I'm left with 1 hour. On top, I can cross the 16 with a 16. And all I have left is 3. So how much did it snow? Per hour, 13 or 3 inches of snow per hour. Uh, 11. Tina's car traveled 111 miles in 3 eighths of a tank. So her tank was not full. What if she had one full tank? How much can she go? So, again, we want to find the unit rate times 8 over 3. Times eight over three. So this, 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 this. I get one tank. So on the top, I get one hundred eleven. So I'm going to do this: one hundred eleven times eight, which is eight hundred and eighty-eight, and then divide by three. And I'm going to change that to a mixed number. So eight 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 divided by three is going to be uh, two six twenty-eight nine twenty-seven eighteen. Oh, look at that! Six two hundred ninety-eight. 296 miles is one tank of gas. 12, Joey entered a hot dog competition. Yeah. He ate 30, 30 and a half hot dogs in one, in 30 and a half hot dogs, hot dogs, I just write hot dogs, in three and three fourth minutes. That's a lot of hot dogs. How many hot dogs did he eat in one minute? So what is his unit weight? Um, so let's change this. Okay, so I'm going to change 2. 2 times 30 is 60 plus 1. So I'm going to change this 61 over 2. And then, so I'm not going to use this anymore. Hot dogs. And then 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Because so that's 15 over 4 minutes. Because I don't have the calculator, I'm going to change it to an improper fraction. Now I'm going to multiply this by what? I take that and multiply by 4 over 15. And multiply the top by 4 over 15. Cross, cross, cross. They all simplify to 1 and I get my 1 minute. i got to now multiply across here. 61, so let me change this to 2. So it's going to be 122 over 15. Why does this sound familiar? Hot dogs. What's 122 over 15 hot dogs? Well, let's divide 122 over 15. It's going to be 8. How did I know that? 40. 120 remain the two. So he per minute he eats 8 hot dogs and 2 fifteenths of the next one. So 8 and a little bit more in a minute. That's pretty close. And 13. Andre took a trip from Boston to France. I could have sworn I did this. And the flame, plane flew at 3,669 3, miles and four-fifths of a mile. And how long? In six hours, six and two-thirds hours. 
how much the travel in one hour. So again, if, hopefully you have a calculator home because this are quite big numbers. Um, so I'm going to change this to an improper to a mixed numbers for both. So three times six is eighteen plus two, so it's the same thing as twenty over three. And on the top, ugh, five times three thousand six hundred sixty-nine. Are you serious? Ah, fine. Three thousand six hundred sixty-nine times five, forty-five, thirty-four. 3, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then we have to add plus 4, it's going to give me 2, 1, 3, 4, 9. So it's going to be 2, 1, 3, 4, 9 over 5 miles. So I change this to an improper, this to an improper. If you have a calculator, you probably don't need to deal with this. Now we're going to change this to 1 hour, and so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, and it's going to be 3 over 20, and times 3 over 20. So this and this, this and this go bye bye. I have one hour on the top. Yikes! It's gonna be over a hundred. That's gonna be actually a little bit simpler. So twenty one thousand three hundred forty nine times three is twenty seven four twelve fourteen ten four and six. So I'm going to divide it by 10, so it's at 64,047 over 100, or 640 miles, 47 in one hour. And that's how much it is. Hopefully this is your homework. If not, uh, I hope you realize that it was not earlier.